What is up team? Welcome back to The Work Method and welcome to day six of the Savage program. We have a lower body workout that's building upon last week's lower body workout on Monday. Let's hop into our warm up and then we'll jump into our first exercise. We got a three minute MRAP of five body weight squats, five toe touches and five reverse lunges at each leg. So with a three minute running clock, we're going five body weight squats, five toe touches, slight bend in the knees if you need to. And then five reverse lunges each leg. Ideally, let that knee kiss the ground nice and slow. Let's do it, team. 10 seconds of countdown. Three minutes on the clock. Let's get loose. Get ready for this uh, week two. Two, one, and work. Nice and slow. Five reps. Try to get as low as you can. Five toe touches. And then reverse lunges, nice and slow. I'm trying to open up those hip flexors. When I go down, you can pause for a second. 10 reps total, five each side. Two minutes, team. Six seconds left. First movement up, we got Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna increase from 15 reps last week to 16 reps this week. Ideally use the same weight, <laughs> or if it was really easy, you can go up and wait a little bit. Or if it was really hard, you may have to drop in weight. But again, it's only one additional rep. So Bulgarian split squat, your back foot is up on something. Optionally, we can elevate the front foot. This is only if you can go and touch the ground, without the foot elevated. So, we're gonna go 16 reps. We're going here, nice and slow down, pause at the bottom, feel that stretch, drive up. Big, slow stretch, pause, let that knee track forward, try to keep that heel down. We're gonna go 16 reps on the right leg. You have a minute and 30 to complete it. 30 seconds rest between legs, a minute 30 for the opposite leg, 45 seconds rest, and then we'll cycle through. If you don't have something to balance the back foot on, you can do split squats, or you can hold on to something to help you keep your balance. Last week, I did 35s, and that was tough, especially with the foot elevated. 
I'm gonna stay with that same weight. I'm gonna grab some straps too so I can not think about my grip. Do we have any questions, team? Look at your weight from last week if you were here. Try to use at least the same weight as that. That deep front foot elevated stretch was absolutely killer. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Control over every rep. Try not to bounce out of the bottom, guys. Let's do it. We're going in, ten, we're going in five seconds. Right leg. In three, two, one, and work, team. A minute 30, let's work. Right leg. Nice and slow. 16. Seconds left. Woo. Oh, sixteen. Twenty four seconds left. If you finish early, that's okay. Some additional rest is not going to kill you. I need it. Our goal is not to try to finish as quick as possible. Try to milk every rep. <coughs> oh, three seconds to finish, team. And we got a 30 second rest. These things are gonna jack your heart rate, which is why I added an extra rest there. They should. One set, my heart rate's at 140. Ten seconds, team. Five, three, one. Fifteen on the left. Keep that weight loaded forward. Come on. Take your time. One set down, two to go. Still only three sets, guys. Week over week, we had a set, we had a rep, we do a little, we had a little bit of weight. That's how you get bigger, stronger, faster, better, sexier. 45 seconds rest, fourth set two. <laughs> okay, let's see, yeah, heart rate's slow, 140. Two more. Woo! That extra, I think it's probably like inch and a half, two inches. Gets a deep stretch in those glutes and hamstrings and your knee gets deeper, so it kind of kills your entire leg. It's probably bar none, one of the best leg exercises you can do. Seven seconds, it sucks, so let me just clarify that, but it's hard. Right leg, it's effective, I meant. It sucks, but it's effective. Short breaks are okay here, team. If you need to pause for a second at the top.
I'm getting a 10. I'm going to take a little break. <sighs> 45 seconds left. seconds. Ten seconds, team. And then we got a 30 second rest. We got the left leg. Woo! Two. Rest. 30 seconds, guys. Heart rate's at 150 now. <laughs> 10 seconds, start setting up. Left leg, 16 reps. In four, two, plenty of time here. You got the minute 30. We got a 45 second rest. This is a mental game here too. At 16 reps. Go, 40 seconds. Oh, plenty of time. <clears throat> Trying to make everyone hurt. <clears throat> no bounce. <sighs> Push with that front leg. <sighs> Seconds, team. One more set. Come on. In my opinion, this is the hardest part of the whole workout. So, if we can get past this, I won't say it's easy, but it's easier. 30 seconds. Huh. 20 seconds. Walk it out, no sitting down guys. How you clear the lactate from your leg is moving, not sitting. So try not to sit in between sets, even though that's your instinct. Seven seconds, last set of 16 on the right leg. <sighs> Let's go. Mental, let's go. It's all in your head. You wanna quit, you wanna stop. We ain't doing that. I'm trying to get to 10. Take a short break. 43 seconds. Six to go. Oh, 
Oh my God. Five, two, press. 30 seconds, left leg. Take a little extra rest off the top here if you need it. Oh. Fifteen seconds, team. Come on. Ten. <laughs> Three. One. I'm going. Taking a couple of seconds. I need it. Hurry. At 156. <sighs> Sixteen reps. Last set. Huh. Team, I need six. I don't care if you run into the rest break. Keep working. We can add a little rest here. Keep working if you're going. Uh, 16 on the dot. Uh, uh. Press. A minute 30, we may go longer. All right, team. If you have a bench that goes on an incline, we're doing dumbbell leg extensions. So, I'm gonna move this. So, you're gonna set up your bench on an incline as low as you can go, just one notch up. You move this, actually you can use this. No, I'm gonna move this. So, this exercise, I'll demo it and then talk about the rep scheme. So, you're gonna take a dumbbell. You can do this on a flat bench too. Grab it between your toes. I like to go about mid thigh, lean back a little bit, squeeze up, pause at the top for a second. Really try to control that top half because that's where you're gonna feel it. And then back up. Now, in this set, we are doing a Mayo rep match set. So what that means is, basing off of what you used last week, you wanna hit a minimum of 15 reps with the same weight you did last week, but you're gonna go as many reps as you can. So we wanna to try to land somewhere between 15 and 20, pushing to the limit. You may go higher than 20 in this first week, that's okay. Next week, we can adjust the weight up and bring it back down into that range. So I would say target what you did last week. I did a 30 last week for 15, and I'm gonna try to get as many as I can on the first set. Now the caveat is the second and third set you can take as many short little breaks to get to that same number of reps. So this is called the mile rep match set. So we're gonna match the set, the reps in set one, but with short breaks to get to the set two. So if you did 20 in set one, maybe the first, uh, the second set you do 12, five, three, or 10, five, five, whatever you need to do to break it up. And we'll do the exact same thing in set three. So set, set one sets the standard, and then you match the next set. Does that make sense, guys? All right, I'm gonna grab my 30, and we're gonna go in 10 seconds. As many reps as you can on this first set, aiming between 15 and 20, without taking breaks on this one. So it's straight. 10 seconds, team. <clears throat> in five, three, 
two, one, and work. Take your time on them though, make them good so that they're hard. Don't sandbag it either. Make it easy for the next set. No breaks. All right, I got 21. I couldn't get a full extension anymore. Rest the remainder of the minute and a half. Huh. And then we got a 30 second, we got a 45 second rest. And then you have a minute and a half again to match. So short break. You want to maybe set down the weight for three to five seconds at max. <clears throat> to try to match whatever you did. And make sure you guys track your reps and weight in the app. This is gonna be really important because next week, that first set, you gotta to try to beat the number or you have to try to increase the weight. So in my instance, I went above 20 reps. So I'll probably bump up to 35 next week, bring that set back down to the range I need and then build. <laughs> 15 seconds team. Set two, short breaks to get you to whatever your first number was. In 10 seconds, start setting up. Five, two, one, and work. Good rep, hold at that top position. Pause. Taking a short break at 10. <sighs> 16. Did you guys burn through to the same number of reps as the first set? You took it too easy. Oh, sorry for yelling guys, you gotta listen to this on the replay. <laughs> Shit hurts. Oh, hopefully your groans are over, uh, make it louder than mine I should say. Five seconds to finish. Three, two, one. My hope we're groaning together. Oh. All right, another set. I'm going 21 again, matching that first set. Quads should be blowing up here. Quads, and if you're squeezing the dumbbell, like adductors are hurting too. Last set, guys. Fifteen seconds. You got the full minute and a half. You can even work into the rest break if you need to. All I care is to get the reps done and get them done well. Three, two, one, and work. Come on. Match that first set.
Time to go. Thirty seconds, team. Oh, fourteen seconds. I got two to go. Holy smoke. And rest, team. We're finished out, you're still working. Woo, that felt good. AKA it hurt. All right, team. Track your weight, I got three sets of 21 with 35. All right, now, we got goblet squats. We are back to 16 rep sets, so now, We've pre-fatigued the legs. There's certain exercises we're not gonna go max reps with the mile rep, rep on. You're gonna notice that throughout this week. Uh, so just pay attention. This, this set is just 16 reps, all three sets through. Our quads are pre-fatigued. Again though, you wanna try to match what you did last week, even though it's gonna be harder because we did more reps than we did last week. So goblet squat, dumbbells held here, feet shoulder width apart. Open those knees up, get as low as you can. Nice and slow on the way down, explode on the way up. Quads are going to feel this. That hurt with a 25 pounder and I am going with a 55 pounder. We'll see if I can hang in here. Again, we pushed a little harder than we did last week though. We're doing more reps, so you may need to drop the weight a touch. That's okay guys. Better reps is more important than more weight or more reps. Do we have any questions? Are we good? I'm gonna give us another 20 seconds before we do these. Oh, quads are hurting. All right, we're going in eight team. I'm going 55 for 16 reps. In three, two, one, and work. Come on, nice and slow. 16. Seconds to finish, guys. Oh. We're on set two after a 45 second rest. Oh. This is our last leg movement. <clears throat> and then we got some core. We got 25 seconds, guys. I'm sticking with the 55. All three sets, same thing. In 12. Picking it up in five. I'm on three, one, and go.
30 seconds. Think about loading those quads, open up those knees. So they're tracking in line with your toes. Drive up with the quads. Today is a more quad focused leg day. On Thursday, we got a little bit more hamstring glute focused leg day. <laughs> 12 seconds, final set. Take a few seconds off the top here if you need it. We're gonna have a two minute rest, I believe, coming up after this. Two, one, and it worked. Nope, just a minute and 30. All right, let's go. 16 reps. to go. Seven to go. 35 left. Your weight. All right, team, we got lying leg raises on the bench or hanging leg raises. 16 reps, you can add weight. And then we got weighted sit-ups. So, I'm going body weight on the hanging. If you guys are on a bench, you're gonna go legs straight, it's harder, knees bent is easier, come up, hips come up. Nice and slow down. You can bend your knees to make it easier. You can also sit up and do kind of a, you can hold a dumbbell between your toes and do a little bit of a V up if you want to add weight and you don't want the weight dangling over your head. That's our first move for 16 reps. Then, well then you go into weighted sit ups. But you have an option if you have a bar to hang from to drive those knees up to the chest, drive, nice and slow down. You can also go leg straight, nice and slow down, that's harder. So that's our first move. Just pause this timer. If, and then, so 16 reps, 20, 30 seconds rest, and then we do a weighted sit up. Optional decline. Hold the weight on your chest all the way down, fully extend the rib cage, and then sit up. If you don't have a bench on a decline to do that on, you can do it on the floor. Just hook yourself into something to leverage. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna do a 20 pounder on this, because that was a struggle last time. And I'm gonna go body weight on the hanging leg raises. I may use straps though, because grip is gonna become a factor. Do we have any questions, guys? We good? Let's go in 20 seconds. Sorry, it's a lot of talking. <laughs> Getting options here. <laughs> depending on equipment. We're going in seven, team. Leg raises on a bench or on the floor or hanging in three, two, 
One, work. 15 or 16 reps. seconds to finish. We got a 20 second rest, guys. Weighted sit up. Yeah, I'm going 20 here. Last week I started with 30 and had a drop. I think the last set I even did body weight. Focus your intention on the abs doing the work, not momentum, not your low back. You want to think about crunching the sternum towards the belly button. And on the way down, letting that unwind. Hold that weight on the upper chest. We got 15 seconds. Do it. In five, three, two, one. And we're at 16. Second rest between rounds, team coming up. Three, one. It's okay if you need to drop the weight. If it becomes challenging enough that your body's heavy enough, that's cool. We just don't want to burn through them. Every rep of those hurt for me. With higher reps, you're usually gonna have to drop the weight. I think last cycle we're doing sets of eight because a whole different ball game. It's half the reps. You should be able to lift heavy. We're going in 10 seconds, team. Leg raises, whatever variation you choose. I'm gonna try to do hanging again, we'll see. Three, one, and work. body weight and all these sit-ups. I'm just gonna start with a 20. My abs feel cooked already. I think it has something to do with those leg extensions. They work their quads, but they're also cooking the hip flexors, which play a big part in your sit-up. So we kind of already pre-fatigue those, and now the abs have to work harder. That's what it feels like for me. 20 seconds. Huh. Let's go. 
12 seconds, team. Sit-ups for 16, I'm rolling body weight. Nice and controlled, I'm gonna try not to get a cramp here. Three, one, and work. seconds. raises or straight is cooking your hip flexors as well oh all right guys we got one more round here let's finish strong good reps if you're doing the hanging variation you can kind of find a little bit of rhythm with your swing and pull up but then try to resist on the way down so you'll kind of swing back a little bit at the bottom that's okay squeeze up and then really try to control and then swing because you're never gonna be totally still, it's impossible. You'll, wait, you'll waste all your energy. <coughs> Unless you have been incredibly good at this, which I am not. Three, one, and work. So I'm gonna find like a tiny little swing at the bottom because it's almost impossible not to. And then pull for 15. down the way down. It feels like a bag of rocks is attached to the end of them. 20 seconds to finish, guys. Woo! Then we got a 20 second rest. I don't need the straps anymore. Two, one, and rest, team. Last set of weighted sit-ups or body weight sit-ups. In 10, eight, three, one, and work. 16. seconds left. I don't care about the time we're being done. Come on. <laughs> I 
I'm all finished. I got one more. Oh. Woo! All right, team. Awesome work. Day six of the Savage program in the books, guys. I'll be back tomorrow with an upper body push day. I hope to see you guys there. Oh, that was a way to kick off week two. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.